We are checking in this morning with Burlington Mayor Mary Ann Mead Ward to see what's up in her city. Thanks for joining us. I want to start off with uh, a devastating uh, impact of COVID-19 again today. Uh, we're seeing a very popular restaurant in Burlington, Stonehouse, it has had to close because of the virus. We know that this impact uh, has has long lasting implications and Burlington has tried uh, city, city Hall and City Council has tried to do our part. We invested in a fund of uh, two funds, actually a digital Main Street to help businesses transition to an online platform. And we also uh, invested in um, helping businesses buy protective equipment, uh, plastic barriers, signage, uh, $250,000. Uh, we tried to get matching funds from the region. That didn't go so well, but we uh, we did that and, and a number of other measures. So we're really trying to help, but we know that for many of our businesses, this just the, the lasting impacts of being closed and the numbers still not returning to normal volume. And so... Um, you know, it, it's devastating to lose one of our businesses. I've eaten there. It's an amazing, mm -hmm. an amazing restaurant. So very sad to hear. Yeah, I was actually in downtown Burlington yesterday near the waterfront, and I did see you, you have the barriers put up for uh, for patios again. How, how long do you think those are going to be up to help out the businesses that are on street fronts? Well, we're Canadian, so we've extended patio season to the end of January. <laughs> so bring your <laughs> bring your parka and your toque. I kind of liken it to, you know, uh, Breckenridge or Telluride. You know, we don't think twice about going skiing and having our hot toddies with our parkas uh, if we're, you know, skiing at Tremblant or up at Blue Mountain or wherever. So, you know, we can do this in patio season. And I know a lot of restaurants have actually started to invest in heaters and some to, sort of tent covering outside so that they can expand and extend the life and the season. And, and it really just gives them extra square footage to have the same volumes of people that they used to pre-COVID, but spaced out. So we're, we're keeping it like that until the restaurants say they don't need it anymore. And it could, you know, actually it's become so popular that people are saying, please make this a permanent feature of Burlington downtown yeah, and elsewhere. I, I did so. see a lot of people on patios in the middle of the afternoon yesterday. It was, it was awesome. I want to talk to you as well about a big event that you're going to tomorrow to help out seniors. Yes, uh, we have been working, the city has been working very, very closely with a community group of seniors, the Burlington Seniors Community Incorporated, actually they're called, and they have led the effort to get seniors exercise equipment outdoors in our parks so that seniors can, um, you know, can be active and be outside. And so they have, uh, they have contributed significant funding to make this happen. They worked with the city. We are installing that and unveiling that officially in Burl Oak Park in the east end of Burlington. It's a really great partnership. It's, it's a really great initiative. But this was brought to us by uh, seniors in our community. They started, they led it, they funded it. And uh, the city came along and said, yep, you can use our parks because mm -hmm. they belong to all of us. So that's uh, that's going to be a great event. Right. Um, what about the uptick in cases? Uh, I know Halton region uh, region wide has has seen as as many areas across mm -hmm. the uh, province have seen an uptick in cases. Any concerns, particularly in in Burlington? Well, we always have to be vigilant. We are not out of this pandemic yet. There is a deadly virus among us still. Halton's numbers are still uh, very low compared to the province. We're, we're little over half of the rate that the, is province-wide, so we're not the hot spot. But that's no reason for complacency. We absolutely have to maintain our physical distance, shrink your social bubble if you can do it at all, wear a mask, hand sanitize. You know, Burlington residents have been great throughout this pandemic following those measures, which is why our numbers have remained the lowest infection rates in the GTA, and we're still at that. But but just for example, uh, two weeks ago, we were at about 11 or 12 active cases. As of the, this morning, we're at 40. So we're going up. That's the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. And it's still low. That's 40 40 in, you know, active cases out of a population of close to 200,000. But no... Uh, you know, there's no reason to put up our feed. This is a marathon. We have to remain vigilant. And I think we've seen a bit of an uptick because people have been uh, more casual about their social circles. It's not the businesses. And so I really want to make sure that we don't slide back into a stage two and lose more of our businesses. Our economy can't afford it. And, you know, businesses have been open 
for a long time, and that's not what's caused the uptick because they have put safety measures. It really is those uh, casual social gatherings where people have kind of let their guard down and uh, violated that social distancing you know, of six, uh, six feet uh, or wearing masks. So just really pleading with people to uh, continue to follow those measures and we can start to see those numbers go back down in Burlington as well as elsewhere. Okay, Marianne Mead Ward, Mayor of Burlington. Nice to talk to you again today. Great to be with you. Thank you.